In this series, I'm going to show you how you can gain the power of four with the power of after effects. So in the last episode, I showed you how we created the hammer catch effect. In this episode, I'm going to show you how we create the summon lightning strike effect as you catch force hammer. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so now we're in After Effects after taking our footage from Premiere Pro and dynamically linking it to After Effects. So it's now created a comp or a composition in After Effects so we can now create special effects for our clip that we took in from Premiere Pro, okay? So here we have our clip. And if you go to this folder that I've called comps, you can see we have a comp, gain the power four. And this is our footage. So what I'm going to do is grab a lightning effect that I downloaded from this website. Okay. So I'm going to put it into our composition, but I'll show you the website for now. Here you can grab any of these uh, free uh, lightning effects here. There are some of them that are paid for, um, but the ones that I picked up was actually free. So there's some of them are free, some of them are paid for. So just take a look around and see if you can get a nice lightning effect. So what we're going to do is take our lightning effect here and we're just going to put that onto our composition, overlay it over our footage. And then you can see here that the lightning is overlaid over the footage. Okay. So what I want to do is position it around about here as just before I catch the hammer, I want to summon the lightning like so. Okay, so I'm just going to place it about here. And as I catch it, yeah, just about here will do. And what we're going to do now is we're going to hit the R for rotation and rotate that effect. So it's in the right direction as I catch it. Okay, so it's like coming off the screen into onto my hand. Okay, so I just place it about here, position it towards my hand and then you can take the edges and just stretch it out like so and then just place it in the composition that you like okay so I'm going to change it to scale and we're pressing s and just scale up that lightning effect and position it a bit closer to my arm about here looks okay so you scrub along and just take a look and see how that looks. That looks okay, but maybe if I can position it a bit earlier, like here, that might be a little bit better. So it comes in just at before I catch the hammer. So we can actually see the hammer being caught, okay? So you just got to play around a little bit with that, stretch it out, position it, and I think this moment here, that's where I want now to create a keyframe so we can animate this lightning with my hand. Okay, so we're going to create a keyframe on position. Okay, now as I catch it, I want the animation to end where my hand catching the hammer is. So if I just move the position along the composition and I'm going to put that closer to my arm or my hand to the point where I catch Thor's hammer about here okay and then just stretch out the effect a little bit more okay so now it looks like the lightning's moving as my hand moves the lightning moves with my hand so I'm going to just do a keyframe on scale and just create an animation on the scale as well of the effect. Stretch it out a little bit more in this position. So now it's creating a sort of, it's, it's, it's making the lightning effects just stretch out as my arm stretches out as well. So it's like I'm controlling the lightning. So if I just stretch out a little bit more, as you can see, it's creating keyframes on the composition. So it's going to animate in the direction that I catch it, like so. Okay, so now we can see it's created a nice animation that goes along with my hand movement, like so. 
Check out the next video in the series where I show you how to do Thor's lightning eyes effects using After Effects, or check out the next video you might enjoy as well. Until next time, this has been Aston Regis helping you tell your story through video. Peace.